Well, thank you for coming this morning for my official announcement. I am going to seek re-election as Ohio's Auditor of State. In 2006, Ohio voters elected me, the first CPA to serve as Auditor of State, to bring sound professional judgment and experience to the office. Since that time, we have made measurable progress in providing Ohioans protection from government fraud and wasteful spending of their hard-earned tax dollars. We've completed more than 8,600 independent financial audits of state and local government operations in Ohio, including charter and traditional public schools. We've identified nearly $20 million in misspent, mismanaged, or stolen tax dollars that must be repaid, including more than $4.2 million in Medicaid abuse. We pointed out more than $101 million in savings for local governments and schools for more than 2,100 recommendations from our performance audits of their operations. We've helped 58 struggling school districts and local governments balance their budgets. These are sustainable budgets. That goes a long way in this tough economy. Our fraud audits and special investigations to date have resulted in 34 convictions for fraud or related crimes, 37, others have case, 37 other cases have charges pending, and 41 additional investigations are underway. Inside our office since last summer, we've made meaningful cuts in operational costs. As a result, we expect to absorb reductions or return to the taxpayers nearly 10% of our appropriated general revenue fund budget for this fiscal year. At the same time, we are introducing new technologies to modernize the Auditor of State's office, making our operations more efficient and cost-effective for our clients and the taxpayers of Ohio. These are just a few of our accomplishments, and I am proud of the success my office has achieved. But there still is more to do. I am running for re-election as Auditor of State. I want to continue the progress we've made, helping to provide Ohio taxpayers with a more accountable and affordable government. With Ohio facing economic challenges unseen in generations, our families simply cannot afford to bear the cost, the burden of fraud, corruption, and tax dollars wasted by our government. As your Auditor of State, I will continue to hold state and local government accountable for the tax dollars they spend. I will continue to aggressively investigate allegations of fraud and public corruption and hold those responsible accountable. I will continue to be Ohio's taxpayer watchdog, making sure your tax dollars count. I look forward to working with every Ohioan to return our state to an era of prosperity and promise. Again, thank you for coming this morning, and I would be happy to answer your questions. Some local supporters um, in Summit County asked me to consider running for uh, the open Senate seat. Um, it is something that I, I seriously considered uh, for a period of time. I had questions that I felt needed to be answered, and I have concluded that with the work that we have done and the accomplishments that we have achieved in the Auditor of State's office, and the work that I believe lies ahead, my best place is to stay in the Auditor of State's office and seek re-election. What do you consider to be your role in uh, when it comes to the budget debate that's now going on? Are you going to be there every step of the way to respond to the numbers that come out of the administration, et cetera? Let's just go back just a, you know, a second to kind of look at you know, where we were and, and what, we, what we chose to do. Um, over the last couple of months, many Ohioans have asked the question, where will we be in Ohio when the one-time federal and state money is gone? How will we continue to fund programs or balance this budget? Um, it was a question that went unanswered. So we use the resources and the expertise that we have available in the Auditor of State's office to run those projections and forecasts so that we could help answer the questions Ohioans were asking. Um, in fact, what we concluded was that Ohio would face um, at least a $7.9 billion deficit by the end of 2013 based on the decisions being made today. We, con we will continue um, to participate where we believe there are unanswered questions. I have offered to be helpful um, with any individual or group of people that would like to sit around a table and have discussions about where, where we're going in Ohio. So you ask, what, will, you know, what do I expect to continue to do? I expect to continue to offer the resources of the Auditor of State's office, to look at state agency operations, to do performance audits, to make the recommendations that we believe are so meaningful as governments across the state are looking to cut costs 
be more efficient and, and balance their budgets. Uh, Auditor, uh, did you feel any pressure from party leaders not to seek the U.S. Senate nomination? Was this something you made of your own free will, or did they say, please don't do this, we need you in the auditor's race? No. Have you reached out to the governor uh, on budget issues, or has he reached out to you, or what are those discussions stated? I believe, as somebody may have reported a week or so ago, I think he commented that he would be willing to work with any group that was willing to sit down. I've made that same statement over the course of the last couple of weeks. Um, in fact, at the Auditor of State's office, though, we have um, continue to reach out, not just in these last few months, but last fall, um, when the governor announced the second revenue shortfall uh, for the current biennium that we're in right now, I sent a letter to his office offering to do state agency performance audits. That letter did go unanswered, and I actually my staff followed up with the administration twice, and, and you know, no return phone call. So, you know, we again will continue to offer resources at the office to provide meaningful services to help deal with these difficult issues. 